Hey everybody, welcome back to Capes. We've got a hard mission. First hard mission that we've seen. So even though this one, if you recall, this was very intense. So I'm very curious to see what this is going to be like. We do have four heroes, but it looks like we're fighting the big boy. So we need to protect the super, disarm crash damage, chain lightning hits, use all heroes ultimates, no hero KOs. Yeah. This could be, this could be spicy. Thanks again to Daedalic for sponsoring the series and this video. Breaking news. Pandemonium in downtown King City tonight as two superpowered individuals engage in a violently destructive brawl. While the nature of the dispute is unclear, eyewitnesses. Wait, isn't that the super speedster we tried to kidnap? Recruit. We tried to recruit her. <laughs> and... Maybe we'll kidnap her now. Like a kid playing dress up out there. Crash damage is gonna take her apart in minutes unless you put a stop to it. Count me in. Are you sure? You were pretty oozy when we brought you in. I'm not gonna let these psychos turn another super into their personal punching bag. Besides yourself, you mean? Listen, I don't. Can it? If the kid says he's ready, he's ready. Now get down there and get her out. And if you hope to stand a chance against that giant, you better start working like a team. No grandstanding, no more screw-ups. Hey, you want us to work as a team? Then you get us some matching uniforms. Fine. We'll make it work. Again, terrific pep talk, boss. <laughs> Let's bounce. So, yeah, we'll see if we can do this. If we really struggle, then I might need to farm up in the simulator to get at least Weather Vane's ability where he gets the extra disarm. Because I feel like the reason we had that last mission where we learned about disarming the um, the special units is we're gonna see that here. So, let's see. God, there's just there's so many enemies. Also, like, what, is she gonna, we have to protect really her. you could just keep fucking around with us, Speedy. It is over. Gotta get them away from here. Don't want any civilians caught in the crossfire. The name's Mercurio. And if you want me, come and get me. <laughs> God damn it. Nice, nice. Find out. Find her. Alpha wants a super. And Alpha's gonna get a super. They have the like the little helicopter holding the cage up in the background. Wherever you are! Come on! Not you, you little rat. <laughs> Shit! Uh. Trap like a rat! Ooh, there was some blood. She got hit. End of the road, babe. Back off crash damage. <laughs> more wannabe capes. Must be my lucky day. What? Didn't bring a train this time. Fan fucking tastic. Man, I count. Alpha's gonna pay me a fat bonus when I bring him your like bonus nine of them too. plus him. Boys, do with the speed freak. I'm gonna get me some payback. Jeez. You all right, Crystal boy? Nothing I haven't been hit with before. We gotta protect that super. Kiss your ass, goodbye. Okay, so this is this is an insane amount of enemies. This is yeah, this is nuts. We have to protect her. None of them can reach her, but obviously with this smash, if he's not disarmed, that will be problematic. So the question becomes, how do we want to handle this? Protect speedster, use uh, disarm crash damage three times. Use all ultimates. So he's going to need to take a beating. At least. But preferably not from him. Like, he's very strong. Debris causes high damage to an area in range. Target multiple enemies when possible. Can be disarmed. Okay. Chain lightning hit six enemies at once. I don't think that's going to be a problem. 
And actually, like, it changed to explosives too, right? So he might even be able to just get something going right here. We'll have to take a look. Do I want to open with him? I think I'm going to delay. And I think we throw the vulnerable on here. Although, am I just going to try and delay him for now? And then really give her? Because these guys, he's a little bit close for that. I feel like... We're going to move him. Vulnerable here. My head. Disarm here. And then that's good for you. Okay. Let's see what I can do. So now... I might just wait for his chain. Weather Vane's a special hero who can damage groups of enemies with chain lightning. Oh, I like it's making me do this. Oh, okay. Well, here we go. Chain lightning arcs damage between enemies and objects that are close to one and one and other. Each enemy hit charges Weather Vane's ultimate ability by one. Oh, okay. Okay. Brace yourselves. Use chain lightning. Target the barrel. Yep. Fully charged. Time to do some damage. I mean, that's cool. Weatherman can move enemies around using his gust and drag abilities to take advantage of their position in the fight. Use Weatherman's drag ability to pull the enemy through the fire. Yeah, that that is cool. I'll give you that. Okay, so he's burning now. Weathervane's ultimate deals high damage to all targets in range. Move Weathervane closer to the enemy to maximize the number of targets. Let's unleash! And then his ultimate is around him. Okay. Lightning Scourge. Let's go. Why do I get the sense he doesn't have full control of this? Ride the lightning creeps. So he's going to take half damage. Not enough to kill. She's at the end of the round. So I'm obviously going to have to disarm. But we're going to take full advantage of that. Of the backstab, of the um, vulnerable. Never gets old. We'll get her out. That might even be a little too far, honestly. And then I'll put him here. And we'll crystallize and disarm. So he's disarmed once. I'll still smash oh. You. I thought the burn was 0.5. They're on fire! <laughs> yes, they are, buddy. Yes, they are. Yeah. Oh. That delay, bit annoying. These moves. On fire. That's fine. We have further damage that. reduction on that. That See, that's a lot. That That's the thing, is like, we kind of don't we don't want him really getting hit by that, because that's a problem. It looks like the damage caused by burn is more than the 0.5, though. These guys, those guys both had the 1. Uh, who's going to act? So 4 is going to act before facet. Something to think about. Um... Vulnerable My here. Won't stop Disarm there. 
focus. Yep, this looks good to me. Can you lend a hand? They won't be ready for this. Now, this is a solid chain lightning here, too. Well, it's actually not that great. They're not as close as I was expecting them to be. So what I could do is I could just kind of back off here, wait till they group a bit more. We might miss out on some of the um, fire stuff, though. So I could gust him. And he's going to end up there, and the fire won't hit him anyways. Hmm. Whereas if I move him back here... Can maybe chain lightning here? I do also need to... Disarm. He won't move. Okay. It's building up. This is a disarm and a lot of damage. A little stabby for you, a little power for me. Thing is, I, I can't really avoid Facet taking the attacks from him. And I feel like this backstab damage is so high that it, it's something I don't really want to avoid using. Okay. To an adjacent area. charge. Okay. So, I feel like maybe the play here is a pushback and then a move and then a growth on him. So, I do kind of need to use the 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 pushback. I'm just not sure how this is, like, I feel like that should stop his charge. But I'm not 100% sure. Let's find out. Oh yeah, she's, uh, getting targeted. I'll take... Okay, so that, okay that growth okay. might stop that charge. So, knowing that now, we have to account for it. Jesus. He'll fry anything that gets near him. That's good. Getting closer. Um, I could disarm with him, because I'm not going to have a lot of other things, so I might as well take the ton of backstab bonus damage here. <laughs> Just a little more. Okay. We'll go here. We have to crystallize. And I have to disarm. You can't stop crash, damn it! They are definitely taking one damage there. Like, look at number five here when he operates. Whoa. Okay, so I went into the simulator uh, to get Weathervane 
uh, leveled up a little bit. But then I actually realized that we have a two disarm on rebound already, and I'll show you uh, what that looks like in a second. I'm gonna move over here so he starts his his tutorial thing again. Uh, this I've taken a few attempts, went back to the simulator to try and level him up, but I don't think it's gonna make a big difference because I'm not um, engaged with the boss with Weathervane. Fully charged. And I didn't realize that until afterwards. But then notice that Let's Rebound does have one, so that could be big. Jesus, he'll fry anything. Okay, so yeah, her Shadow Blast here is pretty nice for this. Because she just does a straight up disarm of two. But what we actually want is we want Mindfire to do Vulnerable. He does his Disarm. Or... Yeah, no, because I have to move him. Because he's going to have his charge that goes off in any direction. So I do want to move. Let's say to, like, here. Um... That's good. Okay. So now... She does this. I can still backstab... For damage. But I could also... Potentially come up here. Hmm. Let's just play it safe here. So the disarm. I'll still smash you. Take the backstab damage. But am I any farther ahead? Yes, I am because I have it. I'll have an extra action on facet to like maybe taunt these guys. And because they're close, I could maybe use his uh, his taunt combo to get them both to come our way. all day. I bet you could. Okay, so now if I wanted to do his taunt thing, I could be anywhere in this area. Come over here. Taunt these guys. Let me help you get their attention. And then we're going to crystallize. And we are the closest target to crash damage still. I don't My He's still taking a ton of damage. These guys, I, okay, I'm gonna delay him. Who's gonna act here? Number four. Where's this? Okay, I see. Okay. I'm comfortable in this spot, because he can't charge me. We go vulnerable. My ears won't stop ringing. Then, I think... Yeah, I think what we do is we go telekinesis because it's so much damage, right? My and we get the facet bonus. Then we reset. We do the exact same thing. I'm charging up. And we leave uh, facet and rebound to do the disarm on him. And so we can just output damage. I've got you, mind fire. With mind fire. They won't be ready for this. Now, if I were to move to here, how far is this? Range of three. One, two, three. It would hit him. 
And then I could backstab in here to disarm, saving a little bit of damage, but I'm foregoing damage on him by doing that. Is that worth it? Might be. This guy might come and hit her. A little tricky. Okay. I think the right call here is to gust him. Chain this. They all get chained up together. This guy dies on his turn. These guys all need to run towards me. Get a little bit closer to crash damage. What's going on? These extras come in, they burn. Now, I do need to disarm here. So I'm going to start with that. You can't stop crash damage. I could knock him back for some damage. I could taunt these two, but I feel like they're already coming for me. Although this guy could go for her. I'd be interested. But it looks like we already kind of have his attention. So it'll be... I'm curious if he'll change that or not. I could also growth him. I could shield guard her. Hmm. I could put out a bit of damage. Assuming they're already coming for me, the taunt doesn't matter. I could mitigate a bit of damage by doing this, I suppose. And damage mitigation here doesn't look too terrible. That's annoying. Man, that is freaking intense. <clears throat> Okay, now I don't have to waste any disarms on him this time, so that's sweet. Facet, can you lend a hand? Who's gonna act next here? All of these guys in the back, which is unfortunate, but. Facet, I need more stuff to throw at these guys. They're on fire! Okay. If I come in here, I can't knock him back. So, like... <laughs> yeah. This would hit some, obviously. They're all on fire, which is great. Maybe I'll delay this for a second so I can try to figure something else out. This takes his life down considerably, gives him his ultimate next round. But the thing is, he's going to hit Facet and die and will die anyways.
push doesn't really matter in this scenario. Never gets old. I have to try to kill him, I think. A little stabby for you. Which I don't see how that's going to be possible. If I were to delay, it lets this guy go next, which feels like that doesn't really help. Gust there. Uh, this will give him his ult. Just gotta zap a couple more. Hits please. each enemy once for two damage. If I move in there, I could hit the guy in the back, but then I can't move out because I'll be locked. So this guy dies, this guy dies, this guy I don't think dies. I feel like I have to block here, don't I? That's the best I can do. Keep your distance. We're losing it. So here's the thing. It's like I can't move out of here. I could. Like, yeah, I, I think we're just... I think I'm dead again. So he doesn't have Opportunist. It's this guy. So I could put down Growth. But I can't move so far where these guys... Don't go after him. So he still dies. That's the problem, right? Unless I... Well, I could do that. I could shield shard him there. Try that. That's all I can think of, and that might not be good enough. Shit. I know. Okay, so he went for the gun. Interesting. Shield shard. Aw, oh, frick, the AoE. Okay, so I've made it this far. Um, this is a significant difference from the last one, where I'm going to get the Shadow Blast on these two. Hey. And we'll see if that's helpful. I feel like... It should be, in theory. <laughs> uh, the, the issue is we still need to make sure we're putting tons of damage on him. And that's easier said than done. Who's acting next? Number two. Okay. So this, this situation is troublesome. What I've been doing is pushing him back and then chain lightning and hitting a bunch of them and creating fire which seems like it does seem like the best option i can't think 
of an option that's going to be any better than that. Unless I consider moving way over here and trying to zap these guys. That's very different. Let's try it. Because that'll help build his ultimate a little faster. Puts him in range for that disarm. The drag and stuff, this, all of that's kind of wasted. So maybe what I should have done is pushed first and then done that. Building up. Nobody I can drag. I mean, it looks cool. Okay. So now, what's the play? He is disarmed. This guy could just shoot us, so no sense in growthing really any of them. Could just attack. Right? Because now his ult's online. Make sure he doesn't shoot anybody else. Look at the shiny crystals. This is obviously still an issue, though. But if his alt gets charged, which it is... Oh, man. It's so... This is so close. Because now, with his alt being charged, if I could get him in there and lock everybody down for a second, that could be very helpful. My ears won't stop ringing! Okay, so we've done this in the past. It says reuse any ability or ultimate at the cost of all movement. But I've done the ultimate before and then triggered this, and it doesn't give me the ultimate back. So I'm going to trigger this first and see if I get double ultimate. Yeah, I still don't, Take so... That. Weird. I've got you, my fire! But, uh, Rebound should be able to kill this. Uh, just a little more. And that could get us in range so that he could teleport. Number three is gonna act next, though, which is really not cool, but Weathervane could get over there and maybe do a push before that occurs. Maybe what I should do... Okay, I have a better play here. We just do the attack from here. That's crash damage. Okay, so Don't he's win. down now. Speedy's not safe yet, Kate. Now, could she get in here? Because the problem is, look, if he takes any more damage, he is toast. I'm going to actually quick save here so that if I, something happens and I get set back, this actually gives me her ultimate too if I go here for the backstab. I just don't get the extra disarm on this guy, which would be nice. Hmm. Punks. 
Why didn't that give her her ultimate? Oh, maybe this was... Maybe I was seeing that preview. Hold on. Is that... Oh, yeah, okay, that's what it was. Because I was looking here, I was like, oh, yeah, her ultimate. But it's... It'd be nice if it was, like, blinking or something. Okay. So that doesn't totally solve my problem. They had the push. Does he take more damage by bouncing into me? Or do I just, just do this? And hit both. Rebound! Push him around! Because now, I want to be in range of, uh, for Facet to, like, teleport over there. And then I have to decide what I'm doing here. I guess this is the play, right? Because you, uh, we kill number two. You guys are looking push at that guy into the fire. Now. And then move in. Ultimate. He needs to survive some hits, though. But also... Our plan is to teleport Facet in there and use his ult. But we still have these guys, which could be a problem. But to be fair... Yeah, this guy's a problem, because he could just shoot. She can get hit once from these guys. He can get hit once. But this guy... This guy can target either one. He can only target her. So that's a little bit of a concern. So, depending on what they decide to do, she could be in trouble. We might have to try this again. Okay. Oh my god. Are you freaking serious, guys? That is so many. We make a good team, Aburo. So I can still go two spaces that way and have that guy in there. Um, but I can't quite get over there. This guy would come in. He's going to take some burn damage, but he'll get an attack. But that would solve this problem. But this guy could... Well, I do this and then I move. Or maybe I shard strike this. If I shard strike him and then I move. And then I blast the ultimate. And then I move back. I get a little bit more range this way. I still hit this guy. Would be nice if I had that extra push from Weather Vane there. Ah. 
So now I come in. Ultimate. Then I can move out because he'll be growth. Line him up and I'll knock him down. I'm gonna need a little something. That's extra. fine by me. I can't take these capes on with bare hands. Okay. Hmm. Rebound. What are you going to need to do? So where's three, four, five, six? Okay. Four, five, six, I'm not so concerned about. This guy, he's going to get into here. That's obviously a bigger concern, and I can't move him back. But, like, what can I possibly do to influence that from here? Nothing. Not with these two guys. I'm better off... Hmm. Because if I do vulnerable here and then this, he will die, which is great. But then I have to move to do anything to him, which I mean, I do have to move forward anyway to get more involved. to warn you that sucks I don't have a backstab on him she does have this and if I move in if I move in two she could disarm both like is that really the What's going to help me here? I don't know that I can get helped here. <laughs> uh, his chain lightning will be good. I think what she really needs to do is dish out damage on these guys. Facet's going to need to get away from him, which he can do. This kills one that's close. This sort of disarms two, you know, but it doesn't really. Those are kills. Okay, let's do this. Oh, frick. One more down. Oh, I forgot about opportunist. Dude, that's annoying. Gets old. Her alt is so close. But she could just turn and get shot there. This is scary. Need something next. Okay. They're all lined up. I mean, that seems like the natural play for me. Now, does Facet have an opportunity here? Because, hold on, I'm going to delay this. The crystallized doesn't matter now. I could remove it, but that is an action. But if I move down just a bit, 
get out of this guy's range and out of their range to like here. That's something. Basically try to draw this guy over. can't. I'm looking for trouble. Is that your name? Mr. Trouble. Three is going to come in and hit somebody. I think I need to lock that down or create like a line of sight barrier here, but... I think we'll just do that. Okay, so now I have the, the, this thing. Tax opponents perform actions in front or adjacent. How much ultimate is that? It's almost enough. Frick. One, two, three, four. How far is this? I wish you could, like, smash these boxes. Ugh. Well. That guy's not gonna move. This guy can't hit anybody. This guy is the problem. But if I move myself into a position to deal with him... I guess I could theoretically go... If I go here, then he could shoot him, but... I mean, it's not tons of damage, but it's... It is damage. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, so that's too far. Can't use the facet boost now. Oh, but he doesn't. I can't even move him. Damn. Ah, uh, this is rough. This is rough. The thing is, I wanted this damage, um, but I'm not in range of facet. I could. I can't be in range of him to to land this really. And if I come up here, he's going to get shot. But, I mean, he's got health. He's going to have to just... But then he's going to come in and pop her. So, like, I kind of need to be here to... Protect her. We'll get that disarm. Man. This is really tough. That's a lot of damage. I'm under fire. It's gonna hurt. Two damage? I, I thought he does 1.5. Okay, well, we're way back here. Want some wind rebound? Let's try this. Disarming this guy. Okay. Seems good to me. Disarm there. My weapon. Protect here. Fire. 
then she needed to be closer right that was the thing okay let me whoops let me try that again thanks muscles so if I check distance there back here is okay but I can't get there Move her here. Zibity zap. I wouldn't want to be these guys now. Push. He's got his alt. So six and eight will go before. But if we freeze, do the same thing we did before. We move here, blast his ult. Okay. They didn't say he could do that. I'm like re-picking out these weapons is I'm gonna need a really a thing that is a problem. Ugh, what did I eat? Ah, my power is growing. Yeah, see this 1.5 damage killed him outright. If I come in here and then do another backstab on this guy, our ultimate will be full. A little stabby for you, a little power for me. So I think that's something we need to be doing. I like that we can target this one. That's actually hitting everybody. Uh, except for the guy way in the back, which I'm totally fine with. It's five attacks, so to be fair, do I want to have it more centralized on this group? And have a bit more control of it? Maybe I do. Do I want it to just hit these three? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and a half damage. That would kill these. Well, it could kill these guys. Okay. I mean, it's not. It's not bad. It's not great. This guy's going to act after these two. So I'll come here for now. I can't take these cake. Okay. Now his alt's up. So I should use that before I should use that before. This is going to hit everybody once for two damage. This guy will die. Four, five, go next. That 
That works. And then he's got chain lightning still. I don't know if we're gonna have a lot of chaining. Well, those guys should get hit. Jesus, he'll fry anything that gets near him. Yeah, see? Not great. Doesn't mean I won't use it. This is probably better for the disarm into the fire. Or... Or I push him up. I walk up here. Push him. And that kills him. Well, would it? No, it wouldn't. Because I'll be out of his range. I won't get damage. I could come in and just zap him. Helps with the ult, but then this guy's alive. But he's not in range of anybody. Okay. Well, I'm getting close, man. Too flimsy, champ. I'm getting close. Oh, I could have done both. I could have done that. I didn't, I didn't, I miscounted my actions because of the ultimate. <sighs> that could cost me. Definitely. Okay, not in range, in range, not in range, not in range. Definitely in range soon. If I can't kill him, which I probably can't. So I could growth him and then shield shard him maybe and then just run. Come on, baby. All right. So now if I come in there and we get a vulnerable on him. I don't feel so good. Cuz then she can kill him. I'm charging up. Right there. He dies. Unless there's a world where... Like, if I just walk back here and then stab and then come over here for the teleport spin, that doesn't really help. So I kind of have to do it like this. So I don't want to end up over there, obviously. Nice one, rebound. But dare I say it, guys, we are getting very close. Hit him because he's going to die from the half on the fire. Let's go. Damn it. Guys, we're doing it. We're doing it, guys. We're doing it. Disarm into the fire. They're on fire. drag him towards us. We're just lightening him. Uh, when is he acting? Oh, he's acting at the end. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's try this now. So, if I punch him, watch that. I get to act again before those guys at the end. So that's, that is significant. That is really, really powerful. Um, can I be of use here at all? Yeah, I suppose I can be. Okay. 
Okay, we got this, guys. Need something extra. We got this. Blowing May as well do something cool. Okay. Come on, guys. Make it hard for me. We're not going to get the optional objectives. But uh, just surviving this You're going down. is enough for me. Let me tell you. Uh, we're just going to delay these and he can do his action. We did use all ultimates, so that's kind of cool. What did I eat? Wow. They won't be that's the last of That took me a long time. That probably took me two hours. We're done here, Crash. Hopefully I can edit that together in a way that makes sense for everybody watching. <laughs> You can't stop what's coming. None of us can. Then join us. Help stop whatever it is. Wait, huh? what? Didn't Doc say we need all the help we can get? Sure, but... Doc says a lot of things. It don't matter. The days of capes are numbered. <gasps> Company won't let people like us. Fine. Forget I said anything. We gotta go. Small part of me thought maybe we could convince that guy to join us. Superpowered conflict, which reached a dramatic conclusion with the swift arrival of the company. As you can see, company operatives have apprehended the super terrorist known only as Crash Damage, a particularly violent individual who had managed to elude justice until now. Once again, the company has kept its promise to end superpowered violence on our streets. I'm sure the citizens of our fair city are breathing sighs of relief tonight. A statement from the company reads, Peace promised, peace of mind delivered. Remember to report any superhuman activity directly so that we can continue to keep King City safe and secure. That was sweaty. Very sweaty. I did get a decent amount of SP out of that, but it would make sense to come back here and try to farm that up uh, when we're a bit stronger and get all this extra SP. Oh, Act 2. Oh, cool. That's actually the last thing that I can show you guys. So after this cutscene, we have to wait till release. I guess I don't have much choice. Oh, there's a choice. You can quit being so stubborn and accept our help. Or let the company bury you in an unmarked grave. While painting me as a terrorist to my friends and family. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I, see your I think her moveset's gonna be awesome. It's time I let mine know what I'm doing. I'm heading out. Like hell, the company's on high alert. You leave, and you make yourself and us a target. I don't think you heard me. I'm heading out. Gee, oh. Dad. Okay. You gonna send him to his room for that? Quiet, you. You think you can keep up with me? Man, I hope so. Thank you for playing the Cave Preview Build. Experience the full game when it launches May 29th. Wishlist the game on PC or pre-purchase now on Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, Xbox. Dude, that is sick. Very, very cool. Very cool. We have nothing for her. We'll get into... We'll keep the... We'll keep it going where we uh, read their backstories when we get their first little conversation thing. SP-wise... 
Increased damage on Shard Strike. I really don't think that's important. Increasing max movement while Crystallize is pretty good. Shield Shard range is good. Ooh, hits on Shield Charge increases Facet's charge by one. That's neat. That's actually pretty cool. Max movement is important, don't get me wrong. I just think this is better. Let's look at what else is here. Shadow Blast, increased disarm by one, so we could have a disarm of three. Shadow Blitz, increased number of attacks by one. So six attacks. So that goes from 10 damage to 12. Shadow Blitz causes disarm, increased number of attacks by one, okay. Backstab, increases damage against unaware enemies, damage by one. I mean, we haven't seen that a lot. I, I presume going into Act 2, that maybe becomes more of a thing. Chain Lightning, increase range by one. That must be range range, not arc range. Chain Lightning reduces target's initiative. That's kind of cool. Delays it even more, increases range by two. So the arc range never changes. Drag can cause disarm, punch increased damage, or shock. Damage enemies knocked into Weather Vane. Meh, yeah, maybe. I'm more leaning towards this Shadow Blitz. A little bit of extra damage. Or even this, a way for him to get more uh, shield. Like his ult. That would be cool too. I think I'm going to take that. And I'll save, I'll save the rest. I think we'll save the rest. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed this preview. I think we did a pretty good job of uh, showing like how the difficulty works. I know playing on hardcore like that, it was hardcore. Don't get me wrong, but man, is it satisfying. Like that last mission, that took me about two hours, maybe a little bit more. And uh, I don't, like, I went back to the simulator thinking that the two disarm would help me, but it didn't make a difference because he was busy handling that left side of the fight. But uh, getting Facet's ultimate off was very crucial. Getting, actually being able to use all their ultimates is really the whole point there. And that's why it was a secondary objective. But yeah, very neat. I'm very excited uh, to play more of this. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Have, check out the links down below, of course, and we'll see you at launch. Bye for now.